Real quick video. Um, here's the situation. Very skittish dog, very fearful, maybe feral dog, is afraid of people, goes into the crate, does not want to come out. Um, people will recommend tossing treats. A lot of times that will work. However, for some dogs that are very, very afraid of people, the last thing that you want is to start adding movement and motion and talking to them and looking at them. That's usually not going to help very much. So here's a quick tip. Uh, this is something that I've done with some very under-socialized dogs and feral dogs. You're going to need paper bowls. You're going to need some absorbent type of material. These are cotton squares, but you can also use paper towels or napkins. And then you're going to use your regular food bowl, or you can use another one of the paper bowls. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a sharp object like a nail. Who doesn't have a nail, right? So you're going to poke a bunch of holes in there. I already made one just to save some time. So this is what it's going to look like. Lots and lots of little holes in there. You're going to take the absorbent material, which is a paper towel, napkin, or in this case the scent pads, the cotton pads. You're going to put your odor on them. So you could either clench them in your hand for a long time, or if you work out, you can wipe your sweat off of it. Um, you can put these under your armpits, whatever it is. Once you have your odor in it, you're going to pl place it inside the food bowl, if you're feeding out of the metal bowl, and then you put the paper bowl over it, and then you place the high value food. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that some dogs that are very f fearful or uh, feral might not even know what a metal bowl is. Now, it's loud. Uh, when they put their head in there, they see their reflection. That can be kind of scary. If they're eating, that sound can bounce off of the bowl, and that can make them a little bit more frustrated also. They might not want to eat. So you can always use a regular food, uh, a regular paper bowl as well. So that's my tip. Hopefully it helps. Um, this is something that I saw from medical alert training. It's not something I came up with entirely, but as far as I know, I'm the only one that's been using it to work with fearful and feral dogs. Um, <clears throat> I'm not claiming ownership of it. Feel free to use it however you want. If you have a better idea, please let me know. My name is Charlie Moreno, and hope that helps, and good luck.